Save me from tomorrow. I want to run and hide All right now. Can anybody name that tune? Hey, hey, welcome to the Cottage of Love and Light today where you're sitting on my favorite sprouter jar that I have my favorite things to sprout just finished soaking and then they were of course drained and now they are going to proceed to sprout into living truths of love and light to build your immune system Build your whole body, soul, mind, and spirit. Hey, hey, Marcy in the house. What are y'all doing? I think that I have, hey, positioned you that, see, I think that this is a good place to film because there's good light and it's consistent because the sun is on that side of the house, except when my orange car is parked right out there and then it's like this orange, like like you're a deer in the headlights, but orange. Hey, what are you doing? Merry Moon. Merry Moon, Merry Moon. She's a vegetarian. <laughs> Do you know that song? What are you doing? Uh, I have a couple things to tell you. I have something in my throat and it's, it's too much singing today. Hey, Katie in the house, Maritza in the house. Karen from Alabama. I think that's close to me, but really I don't think it's that close. Do you know that until the other day, I, I really hadn't contemplated, I guess I hadn't thought about it, that Georgia is actually the state below me in South Carolina, right? <laughs> this is why when we're driving it and Greg's like, what, what direction are we going? I'm like, north. He's like, how do you know? I'm like, we're going up, no duh. So anyway, I wanna show you what's going on today. And I have a couple of tips to tell you, but first of all, I want to tell you about this hair. Do you all see these vegan and cruelty-free, one-and-done soft curls? What do you think? I love them. This is not a commercial, okay? I love the brand Curlsmith. They're vegan, cruelty-free, and most of the ingredients there, you can even tell what they are. It's like food for hair, okay? Well, my favorite product from them the stylers is the in shower style fixer and what you do this we won't go in this isn't even why i came to talk here but yet i brought the product in here so anyway um what you do is you scrunch it up into your hair you don't need much and in my case my hair it looks like it's very thick but it's, it's actually a lot of hair but it's fine hair it's like baby hair and it gets way down real easy and if you're gonna have curls you want big curls right so anyway that product is really good and you only use about a quarter amount. It's a little bit pricey. It's like about $24 for the, the gel, but it's a one and done. You don't need anything else and it doesn't put build up on your hair. Vegan and cruelty free, good for your hair. And um, I really love that. And I thought it was my favorite product ever until I tried this. Now you could use them both at alternate depending on what kind of curls you want. Sometimes you wanna have, you know, tomorrow day two and then the next day, day three and they forward so on curls, right? But in that case, you want a stiffer cast and then you're gonna crunch that out, you know? But this is, appears lighter, but yet these, my friends, are second day curls. Can you, meaning I didn't have to do anything to them but put my bobby pins in, right? This is called Hydra Style, get ready for the name, Flexi Jelly. I heard that and I was like, what, the Flexi Jelly? Come on, do y'all see? Okay, that's, oh, there we go. Hydro Style Flexi Jelly Curl Smith. Friends of love and light. This is the one. Let me tell you what it smells like. Hmm. Has a little bit of a fruity, but yet a little bit of a flower smell. But So if you don't like fragrance, however, once it's in the hair, you can't smell it, and it's not that strong. So anyway, this is really good, and you only need, again, about a quarter size amount. And I didn't even put any in, in the top. I just smooth over, not wrecking, just smooth, and then scrunch up and, uh, and, and dry. This is some good stuff, I'm telling you. Again, it's not cheap, okay? It, to me, when you're looking at eight ounces, I don't wanna think the other one's 10, and th this one's like $22, 
But if you think about it, you're only using a quarter amount, it's really a good value because have you ever used anything and you, it's just so much? Um, the Diva Curl is like that, The um, which of course we're not using right now, but um, maybe you are, but I'm not choosing to use that. I'm not trying to have my hair fall out. It's taken me a decade to regrow this mop, you know? So um, anyway, their gels though, it takes a whole lot of that. I would probably say, four times the amount of this. And that stuff is just as expensive. So I really like this, so I wanna tell you that. Another thing is, if you are a person that's attempting to do sprouts and all, and you don't know where to start, and people are like, y'all wanna send me messages, like I'm dying of stage four cancer, I wanna add more living food, but you know, I'm, and, and people get disgusted because growing sprouts, microgreens, um, the living food, there's a learning curve. Just like when you learn to make tuna helper and hamburger helper, I didn't know how to make that. I burn it to the pot, you know? And then I was telling Greg, I was like, when I made my ex-hubby the first meal, I had never learned how to cook ever in the live long day. And so I made this tuna helper and it came out right. And I had these crappy pots and pans and, and it came out right. And I served it up and I had like the, the, um, the saltine crackers, you know, fanned out to the side and I, and I brought it to I was like, baby, I cooked. And he was like, oh my gosh, Tanya, you did. <laughs> um, that's back when I allowed men to call me Tanya and now I don't think so. So anyway, that was funny. But if there's a learning curve is the point. I got a little sidetracked. So um, this is the easiest way to grow sprouts to start out. You wanna get one of these. Okay, or, or you could get just a mason jar and you could get a, you could even put, I don't know, you don't use pantyhose, I don't know what's in this thing, you, but some kind of netting over the top, right? Or you could use a colander over the top and then you're gonna drain. But anyway, this is only $5.99, okay? You can buy these on Amazon. So anyway, you get one of these, this is by the Now brand, which is, looks like this, okay? Now, N-O-W. Um, and then you want to start out with these, which are mung beans, because first of all, there's a fly. It's really, they're really easy to sprout. And, ooh, oh please, so professional around here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's near my food. Oh, now we're going to have to hear the fly. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Mung beans are one of the highest uh, nutritional value of sprouts that you can get, and they're really easy and they're cheap. I got this for, I wanna think it was $4. Do you know how many sprouts this will make? Here's how many, a whole lot, okay? So what you wanna do is, of course, oh, you're sitting on it. Um, you take about two and a half maximum tablespoons of this, and what you wanna do is you put it down in your jar and you cover it with pure water. You let it soak overnight or give it say eight hours, okay? And then you're gonna drain it. You're gonna put some water in there, you're gonna rinse it and you're gonna drain. It. Then you're gonna turn it up, you're gonna tap them down. Make sure you give it a tap, tap, tap like this, right? They're gonna be moist, but you don't want it sitting in water because then you might have some rottage, right? So then you bring it up. Now, some people like to put a microfiber towel down like this and prop it on the edge of your um, your counter or your the back wall right there. And so it gives a little drain, but you don't want to put it like this because then you have no airflow. So anyway, you could do it like this. Also, you could do it like this if you put something under there like, um, I don't know, some Lincoln logs or something. You can make a little stand. That's brilliant, right? So anyway, then every day you're going to rinse and drain these. You're not, don't put them in direct sun. You don't have to put them in the dark, but you just put them over to the side of your counter, okay? Then they'll start to grow. I don't have any right here, but they'll start to grow. A little root, which is a little foot coming out of the bottom, and you will start to see them do a shoot, root and shoot, okay? They're edible like that, but you wanna let them get a little bit longer. Now, as you start to see, they have a little bit of leaf on there, a little bit of true leaf. What you wanna do is you wanna bring them over to the sun. Don't bake them in the sun, but let them sit there for a couple of hours and they'll green up and it really ups their nutritional content and their chlorophyll, bam. So anyway, this is what you want to do. Because when people tell me, well, you know, and they're rotted, I guess I just can't do it. If you give up that easy, I guess you just can't. You have got to be diligent. You have got to be consistent. You've got to do it while you go through it. You're going to do it when you don't want it as bad as you thought you wanted it, you know? And I am bothered by that. I'll tell you why. Because 
When I hear somebody say, I've got stage four cancer, I'm doing, I want to do all the things, and then they're giving up, you can't give up. And when I look at your page and I see your three kids and I see your hubby and I see your sister, and I'm like, my gosh, you're worth taking the time, right? So don't give up on yourself is the point. Um, anyway, so here's what's for dinner. Also, this is my, uh, something I really like. It's the veggie pepper by Frontier Brand. Let's see, people do like, oh, it focuses, that's, that's why girls on the Curly Girl channels on YouTube, they're like, and here's what it looks like, because look, it actually focuses. Look at that, it actually works. Ding, ding, ding. So anyway, um, they also say stuff like, hey, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Press the bell notification button so you know every time I put a video out. Thanks. That's funny. So, um, anyway, and I like to open this part so I can get Max Veggie Pepper. I love this one. And Frontier Co-op, this brand, I have so many of these. Mexican Fiesta, Cajun Seasoning, all delicious. Also, I really like this, which is uh, chili powder, okay? Now, there's a lot of different heats in this. This one is the McCormick Organic. I like to put this, too, in my sauerkraut because it helps kind of preserve when you're not using salt. This and um, seaweed in there, it really helps preserve and give it that salty flavor and retain the crunch, but uh, really um, de uh, dense it down, you know, to condense it. So anyway, I have some videos on that. No salt sauerkraut, I have two, and my last one is the best one. So you can find that. Any, any video I mention, you can go to my search bar on my channel, and if you just happen across this, it's Tanny Raw, you know, and you go up there, use the search bar. It's a little bar, you type in a little magnifying glass, you know, because you're searching, right? You're looking hard. And you type in, do you want to talk about healing? Do you want to talk about regeneration? Hair, skin, nails, eye color change? When my eyes used to be murky green gray and the whites were not white, guess what color they were? Yellow. And now they're not. Because that represents pristine health, right? Now, why, why are they blue again? That video is going to tell you. But that's the, this is the color my eyes were when I was born. Then it went away because my health went away. And as I retrieved my health again, that pristine nature came back. So anyway, we have a recipe today, now that I'm getting to it, that is really quick and easy. And it's also like a formula for making a fat-free, no-fat dressing. Why would you want to do that? Well, a lot of times people are like, right now I'm avoiding fats over or outside added plant fats, meaning not the little bit of fat in leaves. or there's a slight amount of fat in most things. We're talking about adding in more uh, where the macros are more fat, you know? So they're wanting to avoid that because maybe they're having a problem with people tell me their gallbladder, all these different problems, and they're trying to avoid that a while. But the thing is, every day I like to add in some plant fat because I'm at the point where that works best for me, and it's usually about 180 to 200 calories a day in my dressing. I make that go far enough, like in dressings like this that are really creamy, by stretching that out into a bulked up dressing sauce or soup, right? Meaning there is a low calorie stretched out component in there like celery, mushroom, pill zucchini, squash, tomato, carrot, etc. But if you're looking for a no fat dressing, furthermore, maybe you had um, avocado rolls rolled up in the Swiss chard that I'm growing in my garden and you had other things for lunch and you already had your fat for the day so you want to have a no fat dressing or you want to have a snack and you know that on the plan I gave you we said you could have ah oh, that there it went we said you could have fruit and greens fruit and a green thing at snack time. Why? Because you want energy and longevity balance. You're holding off on that fat. You want to remain high energy all day and you're holding off on that. So this is a great thing you can do. Maybe you don't just want dates on a log, you know, which is on celery. Maybe you don't just want banana romaine tacos or nice cream with sprouts on there. Why would you add sprouts? Question is, why wouldn't you? Come here. Now, don't touch my food. You're not going to touch my food, are you? The male, male lady's here. So, I know, honey. You should have washed your face. <laughs> she has some new shampoo. She smells like watermelons. Anyway, so, what was I going to tell you? Oh, yes, your snack. So, why would you add sprouts onto banana ice cream? Because why wouldn't you? 
okay? It gives you the nutritional boost you're looking for. Live food for a live body, I can't emphasize that enough. Regeneration happens every week, tack to the next week, tack to the next week in my life, and I want that for you, you know? So anyway, back to the snack. Maybe you want a fat-free snack. So what you could have is a low calorie, meaning non-starchy raw veggies. Let's say you have cucumbers, you have those on mini cucumbers. Do you know how filling a pack of those organic mini cukes from Lidl, $1.89, there's six in there. It's like a dang furry food. Do you know how filling that is dipped into one of these dressings? I'm gonna tell you, it's maximum filling. That way, when you normally are like, well, I don't like to have a snack, you know, I, I don't need a snack, but then you're snacking on little Johnny's, I don't know, Nutter Butters that you said he could only have two, but you had six while you were making the dinner, you know, because you don't have any control because you didn't have a snack. When you stay ahead of the hunger curve, you choose the food, it doesn't choose you. So anyway, what we're having for dinner is, actually, I'm gonna save this for tomorrow because I am gonna have this fat later. Can this, here's what it looks like. Do you see how dense that is? Look, it looks like it has fat in there, doesn't it? So I'm gonna put all this together and um, it's gonna make a whole one of these. I have a little bit left over there too, so maybe this and a half. And then I'm gonna have that tomorrow, probably for snack time. But I'm gonna tell you what's in it. What is in that is I used two Adolfo mangoes. You know, they're the ones that look like the little partridges that were the cartoons when the partridge family came on. You know what I'm talking about? They're like a canary yellow. So um, I used two of those, which equaled about two cups, okay? Now, if you get the regular mangoes, you know, mangoes vary depending on how big the seed is inside, right? Um, hey, Tiffany, how are you? So uh, anyway, two of those, and then I had two cups of red bell peppers. I use some of the seeds in mine because I like the heat, but that is the perfect combination. And then I used about a quarter cup of water. Now, when you add your water in, start with like a tablespoon and what you want to do is just get it to blend because how this comes out is how it's gonna be. It comes out pretty thick, but you need to be able to get it to blend. Especially if you have a blender like this, and I hope this is, it's not that clean, but anyway. This kind of carafe that is the wide base, or if you have a, a wild side by Blendtec, the only problem with these, I really like them because I like the aesthetics, how it fits under the counter. You know, I have a visual eye problem. When things are off, I'm like, my eye starts to twitch and, and my mouth gets dry and that kind of thing. So, um, but the only problem with this, if you want to blend, say, like a three banana ice cream, that even with the tamper, it doesn't want to blend that small amount, but the regular Vitamix, the narrow one, will do very small amounts. Uh, yes, I had IBS, and, and uh, George, if you will go to my video called Healing Autoimmune Disorders, I'll tell you all about it. If you go to my website, tannyrawl.com, I have a short video on there telling you about all the diseases that I healed. It absolutely will heal. Now, if you're going to live on raisins all day because you're like, raisins are raw and raw nuts, is that going to heal? No, it's going to kill, right? So it depends on what kind of raw diet you're doing, you know? Um, that's just like everybody's got feet, but they're not all created equal, right? So be encouraged by that, and healing is real when you get on the right path and the right regimen for you, but I have a lot of videos on that. So, um, and that's something right there that will plague your life. It will ruin and rule your life, IBS. So, um, well, I'm, uh, what else did I put in this? Oh yes, we, so add a, start with a tablespoon of water and add a little bit more. If you have this wider carafe, you know, you're gonna have to get your tamper in there and get it going, okay? So if you wanted a smaller dressing, you would use one cup of the mango to one cup of red bell pepper, right? Now I added another ingredient. You could just go with that, it's delicious, but this is the chili powder. Now, all chili powders are not created equal, just like all cayenne powders are not equal either. Some of them are higher on the, the heat units, you know? So um, this one is by McCorm McCormick's Organic. Um, and what I did was I used two of the teaspoons. Some people don't know that this is a tablespoon and this is a teaspoon, and I'm, I'm not cracking on you. Like, I'm not a big cook, I never was, but I'm just telling you, it's the small one, okay? So I used two of these in there. It's not too hot, it is delicious, and we're gonna have a taste test, but I wanna show you what else. No, I'm getting my food. 
I'll get you. And then I put on top a little bit of the veggie pepper. You could put anything on top. You could have put a little bit of cilantro in there. You could put some basil. You could put nothing. You could just put regular pepper. You could put um, a little bit of Italian spices. But anyway, I'm gonna have that when I have it with eh, all of this. This is a large amount of grains and another bowl this size. That means it's a pound of greens. Is that hard to eat? No, because I'm gonna chop it small and two of these is gonna become one of these. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna, there's a lot of air in there, right? And also, I'm gonna have this whole platter of zoodles, which is two zucchinis, which again is like a, a free food, right? And then I'm gonna have these matos. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's have a, a taste test. I also want you to see the consistency. Let me get a different spoon. See the better consistency. So as you see, it's very, um, I know this is not the best angle, is it? Hmm? Y'all see this? Look at that. It smells very fresh. It has a salsa smell. Before we have a taste test too, y'all like, let's have it, is, is this. No, what in the, what is going on? She's not minding. She's sitting on the wrong side of the counter. Nobody sits there. Just a minute, Renata. We'll have a taste test. But I want to tell you this. When you're looking at the fat-free dressing, there's a recipe for that. You know what it is? Sweet and spicy. Now, if you're a person who's like, well, that's great, Tanya. I can't eat the nightshades. I get it. I could. I just couldn't eat that either. Sub out peppers, okay? And I mean, not peppers, because that's a nightshade. Carrots, okay? So... And, and just realize that, okay, so you want to say, well, I can't eat that. Here's the thing. You can eat anything, but don't you want to choose the foods that, that love you back and you'll learn to love those? Don't you want to choose the foods that are going to keep you vibrant? Greg's youngest daughter, who hangs out with me quite a lot lately, says, well, Miss Tanny, you can't eat that. Can you eat that, Miss Tanny? And my thought is always this. I can eat anything I want. I don't go into all that, but my mind always says, I can eat anything I want. And I choose foods and choose to love foods that love me back, period. Anything else is not my food. Um, so somebody remind me to tell you something about dinner the other night, would you? Can you remind me, uh, Renata? So anyway, back to the formula is that with that, we obviously had the sweet of the mango and the spicy of the red bell pepper, right? And the chili powder. Now you could also have, and I always do like a one-to-one -one ratio. You could do pineapple to let's say uh, orange bell pepper. Do you see what I mean? It's really easy when you do it like that. You can do, if you don't have any fruit like that, you could do date and red bell pepper, date and tomato. You see what I mean? And dates, people like to underestimate how many calories those things have. And of course, it's like a, a mango and a banana. Size matters because the bigger the size, the more the calories, the more the punch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Granny talk just turns into dirty talk. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, sweet to spicy and then you can add in another flavor component it's so easy to do every day day and you can start coming up with your own formula for that another thing about the formulas for this if you want to know how to make a dressing with what the heck you have on hand and i don't mean duke's mayonnaise okay i'm not talking about well i got miracle whip well i'll use that for the fat well you do that but when you come back to reality like you're understanding that's not healthy right now you know so um anyway you want to have a fat component if you're using fat in your dressing. We just discussed non-fat dressings. You want to use a fat. I would like you to watch my video called Make an Awesome Raw Vegan Dressing Every Time. Also, a good starter um, video to watch and recipe is my favorite raw vegan dressing base. And that's going to tell you how to take this one base and turn it into like six different recipes, okay? And that, one good thing about that is you're not going to need to have a lot of different things on hand. So what you need to have is a fat in the amount of fat you need. I told you I usually get about 180 to 200 calories uh, 
in the evening for my dressing, but maybe you eat a 3,000 calorie diet and you want you still want around like a 10, 12% fat for the day. I don't know what you're doing. Adjust it accordingly, but you need a fat component. Then you usually will have an acidic component. Lemon, lime, if you have apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother, knock yourself out. If you don't eat that, you do you and I do me and we'll be free, right? Then typically you're gonna have a salty component. Now if you're bulking that up, which is another thing we're gonna talk about, with celery, that is your salty component. You're like, I don't like celery. Friend, you're not gonna taste it. If you have a high speed blender, you're not gonna taste it. You could use a dulse, kelp, wakame, those are seaweeds. You could use a little bit of Himalayan sea salt or Celtic salt. I don't eat salt and I haven't eaten salt in about 15 years. So why the heck would I do that? I wouldn't, and I wouldn't show it either, you know, um, because I don't do that. And then, a lot of times you'll want a sweet component. So with the sweet component, you could have maybe one date, maybe you'll have a quarter cup raisins or two tablespoons raisins, dried unsulfurized, unsulfurized apricots are my favorite because they're the, not the kind of thing that if they're sitting around and every time you walk through the kitchen, you have say three dates, well, those are 75 calories a piece, friend. Those calories don't just evaporate. And I'm not trying to be a calorie counting crazy, but I'm just saying, if you're eating extra 500 calories a day, where do you think that's going? It doesn't just evaporate, you know? Now, if you're wanting to gain weight, that's a great way to do it. But anyway, um, but with the apricots, I don't find they're, they're a snackerific on their own, so I can have those on hand. Um, what else? Lacoma powder. Lacoma is a fruit from Peru that is dried at low temperatures and then is ground down to a powder and you can use it as a sweetener. It's low glycemic too if you're a person who's still having a little bit of blood sugar um, variables, which I used to have um, and, and still will have if I was to drink like, let's say I was to tip back a 32 ounce jar of orange juice in an hour, I'd be on the floor. I have to have balance. I have to have fiber with fruit and I have to have balance with that. But um, some people seem to do fine with that, but I don't. People are individual, but anyway, so a little bit of lacuma powder, low glycemic is what I was gonna say. And it's also a great thickener. And one tablespoon of lacuma powder is about the same sweetness as one large juicy medjool date. So um, that's what you would do. That video, Make an Awesome Raw Vegan Dressing Every Time, will tell you and show you the way, okay? But another thing about it is you're gonna wanna bulk that up. If you didn't use celery, maybe you use red bell pepper, maybe you use tomato, mushroom, um, peeled zucchini. Why would you peel it? Because you, you would like to have a creamy white dressing and if you don't, it's not gonna be creamy, it's gonna be greeny, you know? So um, another thing, if you have seaweed in there, what I would lovingly suggest you do is just stir that in at the end because if you blend it in, you're gonna have like a purple, purple gray tone dressing, which again, is not that attractive because it's not what we're used to seeing, you know? And you bring this gray dressing into your Thanksgiving party. I brought the dressing and people are like, what backpack did you dig that out of? Because it looks bad. They don't wanna eat your food and then you're, you're offended. Or you're offended because you go and you're like, you don't have any low-fat raw vegan food? That's your fault, that's not their fault. You have to plan as if you're gonna do it while you go through it. You're gonna make it happen instead of making an excuse, right? And you're gonna understand that you're doing different in this world because you want different results. You have to do today what others don't to have tomorrow what others won't. You're not worried about comparing yourself to others, but the point is others won't have health but you will, because you put in the work, you put in the consistency, right? You showed up, you, you were steadfast when others were flaky, you had a plan, right? And you can have that, no matter who you are, you can absolutely change, you can absolutely set a regimen for yourself and do it long enough that it becomes your new pattern, your new ritualistic patterns that you don't even have to think about, no you don't. So um, anyway, what else was I gonna tell you? Oh yes, so a lot of times if you're gonna use say like red bell pepper or something like that, that can go, or tomatoes, it can go for like the sweet along with the bulking agent. Why would you wanna do that? Because some people don't digest uh, more dense down fruit as much like dried apricots or dates. So really don't just look at that and say, I just can't digest this. I worked with somebody yesterday and she and I were, I mean, 
when I can get my hands on somebody one-on-one, we can nitpick this thing down to the fine-tuned truth of you can do it. There's no doubt in my mind. So anyway, I hope you're encouraged by that today. And um, I just want to show you all these things. And I wanted to have a taste test. And this is, I mean, oh shoot, my battery. Look how, um, how that, this is really beautiful. It's kind of has a shine to it. Look at it. This would be great over zoodles. This is, a, this kind of dressing right here is really great to assist in your weight loss, right? It's very tangy. You would not know this didn't have fat in it. It has a, um, a fruity, but yet a savory, sweet and savory. What do y'all think? Hi, Joe. Does anybody have anything they want to say? Let me see what y'all are saying right quick. Mango, two cups mango, Karen. Two cups of um, red bell pepper and uh, two teaspoons of red um, chili powder. Start with one teaspoon because yours might be spicier than mine. But that's not spicy. It just gives it a really savory flavor like um smoked paprika does that too you could always you're welcome here and you could always use that and, and uh, start with about a couple tablespoons of water and then add more but this is not the kind of recipe i mean whatever you blend it to it's what it's going to stay as okay now if you make something like a creamy dressing like this and you use lacuma powder or furthermore you could use say lacuma powder and yellow bell pepper that lacuma powder, it thickens up. Just, has anybody ever used purple corn powder? It's really hard to find now, but I used to use it all the time. And it's very savory and it creates a delicious sauce because it thickens up anything that's like a powdered um, existence like that's really good. Uh, somebody was just asking, um, Serene Within, hello. Uh, what can you use instead of mango? At the beginning of this, I was talking about some recipes for no fat dressing, but you could use pineapple and red bell pepper. You wanna use a sweet and a savory. You see what I mean? Sweet and spicy. I have a lot of recipes on my YouTube. Type in no fat dressing, not low fat. Those will come up all my other recipes. I have thousands of dressing recipes on this YouTube. There are 8,500. If you don't follow me on Instagram, every day I give recipes. I don't even know anybody else that does that. <laughs> but when, when you do it, then people are like, recipe, you know? And you're like, can I choke this food down first? No, you can't. Give me the recipe. So anyway, I just want to show you that. I want to tell you I love you. I wanted to remind you of this tasty, uh, Frontier brand is my favorite seasoning. I want to remind you of this sprouting jar and that if you're a person who needs healing and needs regeneration, you need a strong immune system because we live in a crazy dang world. That's all of us. Then guess what? And, and even if you don't, you know what? Even if you don't think like you'll ever catch anything, like you're immune to all that, well, you're not immune to negativity in your brain, bringing that in. If you are, I hope you are. But we're all subject to that sometime. And guess what? That really weakens your immune system more than anything else. Turn the TV off and throw it out the dang window. So the Now Brand Jar, and then these are the great starter right here. What do you do? What do you get done while chewing all that food? <laughs> you know, I can eat my dinner in about 20 minutes. It's just like everybody else. Now, the other night I was at Greggy's. This was not before last. And I had taken that delicious meal with me. You saw me fix over on Instagram. It was like a purple avocado slaw salad thingy. And it was a pretty large volume. But you know, when everybody else is eating like hot pocket sliders, you can consume a whole lot of calories with two mouthfuls. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing like these chicken cheese cordon bleu wrapped in some kind of white breading oil processed thing that comes out of a pack from Costco's and slides in the oven. And then there's dumplings made with white, some kind of white, I don't even know, pasty thing with um, some kind of probably pork and then there's a couple of pieces of cabbage in there. And then there was some other 
for stuff. And then there was all this soy sauce and the soy sauce was sitting in front of me and I was thinking, that stuff has 700 milligrams of poison salt in every teaspoon. I was just like, and, and then you're gonna dip all that stuff in there. And, um, and then one of the kids said, well, Miss Tanya, do you, this is healthy because it's got, I see a few pieces of cabbage in there. In the processed dumpling, that's a dead cabbage. That, that's dead cabbage. Sometimes I don't know what to say, I really don't, but I tell you what I do know is I'm in control of my health. And, and in the best, I'm um, controlling my best destiny with that, you know? And you have to, to live and let live, and you have to just love people where they are, you know? And it's, it does kind of break your heart sometimes because you just realize that's not nutrition, you know? And I really grew up on Chef Boyardee, and um, sometimes we went out to the Western Sizzler Steakhouse, and I would get beef tips, and I, I would get French fries, and I would, you know, slather them in ranch dressing, and I thought that was a healthy meal. And my mom made bologna hats where you fry up the thick Oscar Mayer bologna, you know, in the oil in the pan, which was Crisco. And you, you cut that up. You don't slice it like you're going to make the triangles. No, you let it cup up. And then you take your homemade mashed taters, which come out of a box. They look like these flaky things. They're instant potatoes, you know. And you make those and you put a lot of butter and you put that in the cupped up thing, right? And then you put on the, the processed cheese food and you put that on top and then you put it in the oven. You want to make sure the cheese gets good and brown on top and bubbles up so you really get maximum acrylamides in there, which is great for causing cancer. And that was a healthy meal. And then every day I ate a box of Lucky Charms with whole milk and, and Debbie cakes and circus peanuts. And guess what that developed in me? Dis-ease. And, and when I see other people on that track, it saddens me. But, um, you know, I was talking to somebody yesterday that um, she's in a healing process. And, and I was saying, you know, a lot of times when you think to yourself, why me? Why do I not feel like optimum? I, I eat better than 99.999% of the people around me. And people are like, well, you don't even feel good. Well, where would you be? Right? And, um, and you think, well, why me? Well, you know, why am I going through this? I'm so thankful for every moment of dis-ease and pain and hardship and, and turmoil that I went through back then. Because if I hadn't gone through that, if I hadn't had the pressure applied, I would not have built strength that I had today, you know? So um, everything happens for a reason. So if you're in disease, maybe start seeing a little bit different instead of a health crisis as a health opportunity, you know? I love you, and I hope you will get your uh, mango, red pepper, chili powder dressing on and learn to make your own, and thank you for coming over to the Cottage Kitchen of Love and Light and spending time. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.